Test tubes, those small round glass things we see in laboratories. I'm sure you've used one or two at some point in your life, but have you ever seen how they are made? Well, sit tight because you're about to find out. Join me as I show how test tubes are made by hand. I'm not going to do much talking in this video, so I've included handy captions to walk you through the test tube making process. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I do have a tradition to tell a dad joke. And this video's dad joke is, how do you make an egg roll? And the answer is, you push it. I wish it was that easy to make egg rolls, that would be totally awesome. Comment down below if you like egg rolls as much as I do. Just want to add a word of caution if you are doing this the way I am to be very careful when you transfer this glass from hand to hand. The clear glass does cool off but is still ripping hot and careful not to burn those precious digits of yours. I want to teach you another way to cut the glass. This method uses thermal shock. We still make a score mark like before, but then we heat a glass rod and use it to crack the glass. After you get the rod nice and molten, gently touch it to the start of your score mark, and you'll see that crack will run right around the glass. Give it a couple taps and that'll break off nice and clean. As a bonus, I'm showing how to add a flare to the end of your test tube. If you want the opening to be a little bit wider, you could use a graphite reamer to gently flare open that glass on the end. <laughs> 